Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Fastway Solid Toe Multi Ball Mount. This allows you to have an adjustable ball mount with two different size balls. So it gives you a really versatile ball mount or an attachment point between your towing vehicle and your trailer. So if you're using multiple trailers, especially with different couplers, or you have different loads you're going to be putting on there so you need different heights, this allows you to tow everything nice and level across the board so you don't have to worry about any kind of undue stress being put on your towing vehicle or on your trailer. So it's very important to keep everything nice and level, which this will let you do. The unique thing to the Fastway ball mount, the solid toe, is that it's a very tight fit. It has a lot of uh, features to make sure that you don't have any kind of rattling or movement once you put this in place. It is made out of solid aluminum as well, so it's a very sturdy ball mount, but not too heavy. So it makes it pretty easy to use, and it also looks really nice and should wear really well for the life of the product. So let's take a closer look at it and talk about some of those features. So at the top of the shank going into your hitch or your uh, receiver tube on your hitch, there's this little post and this will actually pop up into your hitch and provide some anti-rattle. The way you operate that is by the included Allen wrench and you just turn that guy and that should pop up. I'm tightening it or going to the right to bring it up. So that pushes that up. So as you put that into your hitch, secure it with a hitch pin and clip or lock, you just push that little button up and that will give you that force that you need to make sure that everything stays in its place and you don't have any rattling. So that's one really nice feature. Keeps everything from moving around, also eliminates some of the transfer of motion from your trailer into your truck or your towing vehicle. So it makes that a lot nicer experience as you're towing. And then for the actual adjustment for the ball platform, it's kind of the same thing. We'll have a screw here that goes all the way through into the adjustment platform. So it goes all the way into these holes to hold it in place. And then there's a set screw to make sure that that also stays in place. So it kind of gives you a double a, um, security for that ball attachment. So to loosen that up, again, you use the included tool. You want to make sure that this safety lock screw is fully tightened down before you actually tow. And then this one, loosen it up. And it's kind of long threaded, so just got to be a little patient to get that screw backed out so you can make your adjustments. One thing that I do like that they did with this, since you are able to move this around and it can be kind of heavy to move, there are actually little notches in the side of this platform. So that helps you to line it up and make sure that you have it in the right spot before you go to tighten this bolt down. So you just put the platform right at the bottom edge of whatever notch for wherever you want that ball to sit. So as you want to adjust it, loosen up those two screws, move it where you want it to be, or flip it over if you need to use it in the, uh, the other ball, and it's pretty easy to adjust from there. This does give you a pretty nice range of rise or drop. Right now you see it in the drop position, but if we were to flip this over, this would be the rise. So then if you wanted to still have that two and five sixteenth inch ball, you just back everything out, take that out and flip it over and then adjust it to where you need it to be. Again, it is made out of solid aircraft grade billet aluminum. So really nice, very well machined. You can see that there's no welds here. So it gives you a really sturdy ball mount and you don't have to worry about any kind of weak points at those welds which can often be a point of failure on a lot of other ball mounts. And also, as I tighten everything up, you might have been able to see it before, but whenever you loosen this up, there's a little bit of play there. So if you tighten that screw all the way down, it completely eliminates that. So it's a really nice, very solid, very quiet ball mount so you don't have to worry about it rattling around or again, causing any transfer of motion. The balls themselves are chrome plated steel. So they're gonna be up to the task for hauling whatever you wanna put on there. As far as the specs with this, it fits a two and a half inch by two and a half inch hitch receiver. We'll have our two and five sixteenth inch ball, our two inch ball. The towing capacity does change between those two. For the two inch ball, the 
Towing capacity is 8,000 pounds. For the 2 and 5 16 inch ball, it's 10,000 pounds. The tongue weight capacity for both is the same, and that is up to 1,000 pounds. Of course, you want to check your hitch, check your towing vehicle, and any other component in between to make sure that you check all those weight ratings and go off of the lowest number between any of them. As far as the max rise that you can get out of this, whatever you flip it over into the rise position, to the top of the hitch receiver opening to the top of the ball platform, you get 11 inches of rise. And the max drop, again, from the top edge of the receiver tube to the top edge of the platform, you get a max drop of 10 inches. The distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to this back upright bar is about four and a half inches. So you can see that there. Although to this point, it's a, more like three and three quarters as far as what would make clearance or uh, make contact first. The distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball is about eight and a half inches. The total height is about 13 inches. There's no 13 on this uh, measure ruler, but it does go up to 13 inches there. It is covered by a one-year limited warranty, and it is made in the USA. That pretty much does it for our look at the solid toe ball mount from Fastway. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right one for you. We do have other options available here at eTrailer.com, and since this doesn't come with a hitch pin and clip, you want, might want to pick one up while you're here or a locking hitch pin, and we've got lots of options for those. So check them out. Thanks for watching.